a viable answer to that deck? Is it the answer to that deck? I don't know. I'd have to see. I like to judge from maybe 5, 10 matchups. Um, and after, after about 5 or 10 matchups, you can generally get a really good idea of, of, a, of a matchup. One game, two games, you get an idea. So definitely Plants doesn't run over that deck. That, that, that's a given. The question then becomes how close um, how close is that matchup? He's playing Orion Justicars. Just just throwing him down to the board, huh? Um Okay. Here. Because Gargoyle is about the one thing in his deck that causes me any problem at all. Oh, well he's playing Zenith also. Mm. I guess Justicar is annoying for Zenith. I'll give him that. So what am I leveling here? Dreadbolt or Spite Mage? I think it's gotta be Spite Mage. And I'll just move him over and pick him up next turn. Nope, they did not miss the giveaway. It's happening in like a second. So um, if you wanna be eligible, become a follower of the stream. Um, if you want to try to um, make me miserable and happy at the same time, I guess. Uh, I have a push, a sit-up meter at the bottom. For every dollar donated, I do three push-ups, uh, three sit-ups. That's part of my reluctant effort to get back in shape. <laughs> Very reluctant effort that I don't want to do. When I am old, decrepit, I do need to get in better shape, so... <sighs> do I level the Crush? Or do I level the Dreadbolt? I'm going to level the Crush. If nothing else, it scares him. He goes, oh my god, he's got Crushes. Maybe I better stop playing those uh, those Gargoyles. The problem is it's really so much more limited than Dreadbolt. Um, so Dreadbolt may just be right to play there. I don't know. I'm not actually really sure what the right answer there is. And again, I really don't want him to just eat a card. So you can do five damage or four damage, it's fine. I'll kill him with a Phoenix or a Spite Mage or block it with a dragon. Like I got I got plenty of outs there. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, figure out what it's gonna be. Um hashtag NT for life. Yeah. That's that's like Jake's slogan. There we go. Hashtag NT for life. Oh yeah. Alright, I'm level the spite mage again. This has been a very strong player level one for me. Three Zemus. A crush for his stuff. Two spite mages as removal and a dragon egg. Like, that's kind of bonkers. I'm set up pretty well here. I think he got one Zemus. If he only got one Zemus, then that's a humongous lead, I think. So I don't think his gargoyles are going to be able to do as much as he would like. He's got to be afraid to play him, because I get to kill him now for free. So I got the crush leveled. Um, let's see, so he's got coming two Gargoyle 2s, two Zemuses. Okay, so he did get two Zemuses level. That, that's good. Uh, let's kill him and him. He does have Justicar, so you know, he can kind of screw with my Zemus is the problem is I don't feel like Justicar is that great of an answer for Zemus 3 because the Zemus is going to die at some point they're going to kill your Justicar then he comes back at full strength so I don't know I'm not a huge fan of him 
Is he going to Aegis Knight here? That would be the play. Booyah! Aegis Knight. Putting him right back in the game. Uh, I don't like any of these cards, but he's not actually playing Patriarch, so... All of his stuff is pointless and meaningless. Do I even need to kill that guy? No. Nope, you can have a 1-1 one -one on the board, sir. Enjoy your 1-1. One -one. Overwrite him soon. Oh. Oh, Soulforge gods. Please convince Phoenix that his level 2 gargoyle that he surely is holding is worth playing and is worth worth taking the risk. Gladly offer you my services in the Soulforge community for these blessings. Alright. Alright, I'm about to hit the roll. Hopefully you guys are all followers. I don't want any sad faces if you're not a follower. When I hit the roll, be a follower. Don't be sad, man. Don't make me sad for you. Ah, no crush. Boo. The funny thing is by not killing that Matrix Warden, it actually screwed me. <laughs> That's hilarious. Now I can't really play the Phoenix Ash with any sort of confidence. Um, so I think what I'll do actually is trade off this Phoenix for this Cersei, drop the Ash. He doesn't have much um, to do there. I'll play... I would rather have a Devourer 2 in the deck than a Phoenix at this point. All right, so the reason I did that is to actually free up a lane for the Ash. Kind of crazy. Why am I hiding him? Well, um, you know, Jake is, uh, it's just nice to have him around. And his wife was being too domineering of his, of his time. So I figured if I abducted him and locked him in my closet, then I'd have access to him whenever I wanted. But the problem is, it kind of backfired, because he was like, if you put me on the forge, I'm going to tell everyone. And I was like, oh no, that's bad. And I can actually tell you, because you're not going to believe me, because why would I tell you? Um, I even That's a really good question. I don't actually know the answer to that. I would ask Stoneblade. I assume the reason you're asking... Is because you want to save them for um, for set three, and I get that. That's a pretty good idea. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know the answer. This is kind of cool. I can go um, Zemus one shallow grave him. That's kind of great. Or I could cull and not be able to kill the gargoyle. So let's go this route. And so then I end up with. Two Zemus and a Phoenix 3 on player level 2. I can be happy with that. I can be okay with this spot. And now, because I didn't kill that Matrix Warden, he's got nowhere to go. He's got nowhere to go. Alright, let's roll the dice. Rolling the dice. I be Beatos. Cool. I don't know that name. Welcome to the stream, sir. If you've been here a lot, my apologies for not knowing your name. But uh, welcome, and uh, it's good to see you. Your code will be out in just a moment. I'm just figuring out what I've already sent. No, that's not fair. What? I only got a 2.1 Phoenix, or 2.4 Phoenix, and then he got that stuff? That's pretty good, though. I'm I'm in a little bit of trouble. By a little bit, I that's code for a whole kit and caboodle of trouble. All right, yeah, things things are looking bleak for our hero. You know what I need? Oh my God, a crush would be so amazing. I 
things are looking better. Just sad that I didn't see that dragon in play level two. Okay, so let's see. Last code I sent was that one. That one. Yep, that's what I thought. All right, here comes your code, sir. Um, if you are here, let me know what you got. I'm, I'm always curious. If you're not, then um, enjoy it. All right. Cool thing is. Um, he doesn't race all that well and I have the capability to grab um, a, sh uh, a crush at any point so that works out pretty well I'm actually going to go here and here the giveaway just happened, man. Just happened. Ah, come on. No crush yet. Yes, I have definitely had a situation of all Zemuses on the board. Um, I was doing crazy things. I was overwriting mine to try to create a win scenario. I can't remember what I was doing. There was some play I had that I was going to be able to have the op option of, of doing something cool, and it, it backfired and I lost. <laughs> Why not move the dragon in front of the gargoyle to force the damage? Force what damage? What? No! No, I hate sit-ups. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did you donate that many? <laughs> oh no. And you always do crazy numbers. Don't die with these sit-ups. Oh my goodness. Alright. I have to do math too. You have to do the math. I'm going to make you do the math. How many sit-ups is that? It's a total of 2389. You have to do the master. That's your penalty for being so rude. I get a shallow grave, multiple zenus. Oh yeah. Ooh. And he's gonna pop. Unless uh, that's not true. The zenus pops in. The zenus pops back in four. He wins. So there'd be a one in three chance that he would not pop. Wait, what am I talking about? He's not going to die anyway. So there's actually, if he pops into four, then I'm in business. Alright. I might be okay here, actually. I'm going to get this crush. Right? Tell me. I'm going to get the crush at some point, right? I have to. And I'm going to be able to move the phoenix over in front of something. Should stick us at twenty two twenty two for the week. What? I mean for the day. So twenty three eighty nine. That's like it's like sixty eight. It's not a hundred. I can do sixty eight sit ups without dying. If you guys get me to a hundred sit ups, um, that that's where we start having problems. So let's not do that. Let's not get crazy. Oh yeah, sorry. So you you're talking about your weekly number. All right, let's put you at the top then. Ah, uh, now I see what you're saying. All right, I'm gonna leave Pequador. If you get over twenty dollars, no, no, I guess I won't. He he can uh, if he wants to compete with you. He can. Twenty two, twenty two. All right, Pequador. Just got knocked off. 
as the weekly hero. I'm going to write it down though that you have 20. So if you want to jump above dead on board, go for it. Did, did I look down to do some math and I look back up and he got another Zemus 3? Come on, man. But, can I kill him? Oh, I can kill him. Do I want to kill him? I think I do. Oh, no, it doesn't work. No, it works. All right. All right, so I do that. They all die. I can still jump him over there. He'll still do, he'll still do enough to that Phoenix to kill him. Or I could just push the 22. That's kind of an issue. Um... He packed it, Azimus? Oh, man. That ain't right. Oh, that doesn't kill the gargoyle. I was thinking that killed the gargoyle. That's unfortunate. Maybe I just do the 22. I could Epidemic again. I don't want to do that. Um, I'm playing the Phoenix here. Actually... Yeah, there's really nothing. Oh, what I gain is a is a big phoenix again, though, which isn't really enough. Um, he's actually only a ten. I can kind of ignore him. So I think what I do is battle, and then figure out where to put the phoenix ash. I need some damage, though. I, I do. I do agree. The free repop is great, but I gotta damage him at some point. All right, I'm gonna give him the. Oh my goodness, another Zemus. Oh no, I see it now. It is going to be a full board of Zemus at some point tonight. I have one out, and that is if I can pull this um, crush a couple of times, and he keeps over. <laughs> he keeps playing Gargoyle three. That's like my one out. So I don't have a way to give someone defender. Um, all right, we still have 18 minutes left for you guys to try to make my life a disaster. It's already pretty bad. 72 sit-ups is it's doable. I won't owe you any. I'll be able to do 72. I probably won't retch. So that, that's a plus. Fight mage for the win. Um, I don't know about that. Man, this is gonna be an ugly one. Oh no! Luckily, I can kill him. But uh, that yeah, that could be could be interesting. I don't think that'll be enough, but it could be interesting. I know. I don't have an empty lane. And I don't, like, if I, if I were to play this seriously, and I think I have to, I have to put out some out for the Zemus Zemus matchup, whether that be a single Flame Lance or. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull a Dreadbolt for a single Flame Lance. I'm going to discard these guys because that's the one guy who can maybe jump in later and do piles of damage. All right. I don't like explosive demise. You have to level it. It's soft level gated. Um, I don't want to feel the pressure to level it at some point. What I would much rather do is just have um, a flame lance. Flame lance is a good card. Uh, it hits Leafkin. It hits. Um, what else does it hit? It doesn't hit a lot of other stuff, but. It's it's not a bad card for finishing stuff off. Uh-oh. He's got a Cersei in the mix. Dun, 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 dun. No, I'm not going to be able to crush him. Ooh. Wow. That was kind of bad for me. Um, leveling the devourer does nothing. 
I kind of want to discard the crush, but we have to see what happens after combat. Actually, yeah, I actually get to hit him though for 14. Um, all right, let's see what happens. Roll the dice, baby. Alright. So he's only got one guy. I guess it's Evan's skull. Epidemic is interesting, but not enough. I kind of wanted to... Um, if I Epidemic, though... I'm not sure what you're saying. Was there... I don't know. Epidemic would have been dangerous, I think. I think I have... Well, maybe I don't have the lead here. We'll see. Alright. Let's see how these... Oh, my goodness. Oh, I could win. I could win. I could win with the Spite Mage. Plus, um... Yeah, I would have killed Cersei, but then with the way they popped, um, would I have to, I mean, would I have had enough answers for when they popped? That was, that was the problem. I had to make sure I had another card to play in front of them. Um, I believe I would have maybe left Azimus open, which I didn't want to do. Uh, I guess I'll have to go look at the tape, but I, I think, I think I did make the right play there. I could have had him lower. Um, I think I would have risked losing. Whereas the way the board is set up now, uh, I was in a really safe spot. I'm going to be able to slowly grind him out. And in fact, I think I win here because he can't block both lanes and I'm just going to be able to overwrite a Zemus 3 with a Spite Mage to win. Um, never mind. Now, if I could remove that Matrix Warden, I would surely do that. I thought I had this one won right here, right now. Alright, I guess I battle. And see where we're at. Virix Embrace. Virix Embrace doesn't win. What are you talking about? <laughs> I was like, what? What are you talking about? All right, I'll just battle. See where everyone ends up. All right, now I have the advantage of the Zemai. Oh, here's a win condition. Uh, Scorch Mane. Scorch Mane is definitely a win condition. The problem is if he removes this Zemus, then I lose. So let's take that away from him. I don't quite remember what he has. I'm playing probably overly cautious there. But I have the win. So I'm going to play a little cautious there. And then this turn I'm probably going to go Zemus, discard the dragon, and just keep cycling the board until there's either a hole for me to win or I draw the dragon three and win. So I should have... I don't think he has any actual direct damage in his deck. I'll do the parser when we get to 5.1 and um, then we'll see. But I, don't, I don't think he has any way to win this. Whereas I have a long-term way to win it. Even if it's 5 Zemus, um, I do have Dragon to win. Uh, even that doesn't do enough. I mean, it's, it's cool, but I don't think that actually saves him. And in fact, he he might die right here, depending on how they pop. Because even at minus 10, he's still enough damage to win. So as long as I get a guy... Oh, no, never mind. He's going to have the Undying. Okay. Um, yep, so just... Um, all right, let me... Now that we're here, let me go ahead and put into the parser. See what we're working with. What are the possibilities that he has to play? I don't think he has anything, but we should check. 
Um, Aegis Knights, Gargoyles, Sentinels, Cersei, Matrix Wardens, Justicars, Varna's Pack, Zenus are the cards he has played. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I've only seen half his deck, though. But he's not playing Tempe, so he doesn't have direct damage spells. Um, he could have a Cull for the win, which would be really good. Um, knowing that it's kind of tempting to go Virix Embrace Call on this middle guy. 